Hey guys, thanks for joining. This is John from Friends of Your Benefits. I'm going to share with you something a little strange that happened to me today. Like many of you out there, when I get stressed out, I get the occasional breakout. And this morning I wake up, open the medicine cabinet, and I go to reach for my medication and I see, hey, I'm almost out of my medication. So I do what many of you would do. I call up my local pharmacy, in this case it's CVS, to refill the prescription. So click the buttons to refill the prescription. And a little while later, I get an automated voicemail back that says, your prescription is ready to be picked up. I go down to the CVS and as a brief aside, a few months ago when I last picked up medication, the cost was about a hundred bucks. I'm also enrolled in a high deductible health plan. I have about a $3,000 deductible that applies to medical and pharmacy expenses before the plan kicks in. And I do that because I save money in premium and I also am able to enroll in a health savings account. I get up to the counter, take my debit card out and I'm expecting to pay about a hundred bucks. And the pharmacist says, okay, John, your total's gonna be 160 today. And I look at her, I'm like, what? A few months ago, I paid about hundred bucks. What's going on here? And the pharmacist looks at me and she says, I'm sorry, John, but if you want the medication, it's $160 today. And I say, all right, hold on. Let me think about it. Walk away from the pharmacy counter, walk back to my car. And I remember that my insurance company offers me a price check feature on my medication. So open my phone, open the app, and I take a look at the medication. And if I compare it to the other pharmacies in the area, whether it's the CVS I just went to, Walgreens, Walmart, or the local mom and pop pharmacies, they're all coming up with about 160 bucks for medication. So I'm thinking, all right, it is what it is. But before I click out, I see this icon in the app that says, hey, if you want to see the prices for alternative medications that treat similar conditions, click here. And I'm like, all right, fine. So I click there and the first thing that comes up is a medication called Retin-A Micro. And that's the brand medication uh, for the generic that I'm taking. So it's the brand equivalent. I click on it and I'm thinking, okay, well, it's gonna probably be four or 500 bucks and psychologically, maybe it will make me feel better about myself for just seeing what that price is. I click on it and lo and behold, the price is $80. I'm like, okay, that makes no sense. We're always told that generics are cheaper than brands. What's going on here? I call up the CVS, talk to the pharmacist and I say, hey, what's going on here? And the pharmacist takes a look and she says, John, you're right. The medication is cheaper for the brand. And I say, all right, well, switch me over. I want the cheaper medication, especially if it's the same. The pharmacist says, all right, hold on, hold on, John. Don't, don't get too excited. I want you to talk to your physician first. I say, all right, fine. Call up the dermatologist, explain the situation. The dermatologist says, well, I'm sure something's a little different. Let us look into this and get back to you. So about 45 minutes later, the dermatologist gives me a call back. The dermatologist says, John, you're not gonna believe this, but if we take a look at the dosing, the strength, the day supplied, everything is identical between the generic you're taking today and the brand that you could switch to. So if you wanna save 80 bucks, we'll gladly write you a new script and send over to the pharmacy. So I'm like, absolutely do this. So I go back to the CVS a little while later, I pick up the prescription, I pay the $80, I save myself $80. Totally crazy, but hey, saved a lot of money. Very, very happy about it. What are really our lessons learned here? So number one, the first thing is, it's really important to always price check any prescription that you are getting and just make sure that you're getting a fair price. It's also important just to check and to see what the alternatives are to the medication because maybe you can have a weird situation like mine where the brand medication is significantly cheaper than the generic. It's also important that whatever you do, always have a conversation with your doctor um, and just make sure that if you were to change from one prescription to the other, that there's no safety issues and you're not gonna be adversely impacted when you change from one medication to the other. So we hope you found this video to be informative. As always, we encourage you to comment below. Feel free to subscribe to our channel, click the bell, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for joining.